430. I'm Megan Judy. I'm James Packard. I'm Eric Aldrich, and uh, it's a quiet start to our day. A little chilly this morning, but uh, yeah. we've known about it's that so for great, a while. Though. So I oh, yeah. like it. How did you put the jacket on leaving this morning? Did you really? Oh, my gosh. Really? Tough I know. Enough, James. Is it July? Sorry. Okay. Well, I, I, I'm a wuss. I'm not going to put a jacket on here in mid-July, but some folks will. Sorry. And some folks wow. might. But, I didn't uh, know I'd get such a <laughs> negative reaction. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Certainly is a nice start. All right. Thank you very much. Some Columbia parks may be getting new hours this week. Parks and Recreation is proposing an hour change for parks with lakes. KMU 8's Beth Ann Carroll is live at Perry Phillips Park with more on the proposed change. Beth Ann? Massachusetts police arrested a man for breaking into the Kennedy compound. Why the man went to Cape Cod looking for a California girl. But first, a live look over Highway 63. This is KOMU 8 News Today. It's 435. We'll be right back. Into the upper 80s and lower 90s. So uh, back to July. Back to regular weather. We're going to leave September alone. Right. Or no October more jackets or whatever it feels like. Right. Yeah, no more jackets. His Sorry. feelings are hurt. No, well, it's they are too bad. a little bit. I might have yeah. to take this jacket. I out. bet he'll get over it by next week. Probably so. Next time you're with us. Maybe. We'll <laughs> see. Thanks, Eric. We'll wait and see. Underprivileged kids from around Columbia will gather today at a new camp called King's Kids. The Youth Empowerment Zone serves teens and young adults. The camp is in addition to the program aimed at early intervention to keep the kids on the right track. KMU 8's Jessica Mench is at the camp right now to tell us about what it hopes to accomplish and the difficulties it faces. A big security breach at Sky Harbor International Airport in Phoenix ends with a suspect in the hospital. Officials say a man with a plane ticket opened a secure door inside the airport Monday night. Police say a man is behind bars after he broke into the Kennedy compound overnight. Authorities say 53-year-old James LaCroix told them he was inside the home because he wanted to talk to a member of the Kennedy family and, get this, he was also looking for the singer Katy Perry. At least one person was in the home during the break-in. LaCroix will be arraigned in the Barnstable District Court this morning. Katy Perry with the Kennedys. Who knew? Katy Perry. Authorities... So much. With TSA fees doubling next week, travel experts say now is the time to book that next trip to avoid higher fees. The so-called September 11th security fee increases on July 21st. Instead of the current $2.50 per leg of a trip, travelers will pay a flat $5.60 each way. McAfee is releasing its annual list of most computer toxic superheroes. You heard that right. It says web surfers have a 16% chance of landing on a website that has tested positive for online threats if they search the word Superman. Thor, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, and Wolverine round out the list of the top five toxic superheroes. Experts say avoid sites offering free content for those that prompt you to download anything. Megan is over here on her computer. Be careful of what you're searching. Right. Uh, no superheroes. Superman. That's yes. my thing. The federal government may require automakers to road test their cars to make sure gas mileage claims are accurate. The EPA currently tests 10... 24-year-old Garrett Holive is making a name for himself in the mixed martial arts circles despite his Down syndrome. But now he's facing his toughest competition yet, the entire state of Florida. NBC's Christina Hernandez reports.